Digimon comes back from the dead. Star Wars are planning a Deadpool 3 movie. And Rick and Morty new season might be in shambles. We're going to break it down here. So I don't know where he was born, but my childhood comprised of Fox Kids. And Fox Kids, this franchise, Digimon, was top tier. Uh, apparently, they're bringing it back. I think this is the decade of 2000 uh, kids nostalgia. Everything from our childhood seemed like it's going to be coming back. Now, the trailer dropped. However, the trailer is in like Japanese, so I don't know what the heck they're saying. But the synopsis of the new Digimon movie is that Davis and Vimon were making ramen and a giant digi egg appeared in the sky. Then they met someone who claimed to be the first ever person partnered to a Digimon. However, despite having a Digivice, the Digi Destin had no Digimon partner with them. So we're going to be playing with time travel, apparently. These new age uh, Digimon films are leaning very much into the anime aspect of Digimon. I know um, in our childhood they dubbed it for the American audience, but I did feel like they had a sense of mainstream appeal to it but these new animations just it ain't really made for the big us it's made for like everything overseas now i'm not mad at it you clearly have a base over there but i i miss my childhood too however hey yo these digi uh these uh digi evolutions they hit stop the cap not capping so we're going to look and see what that is all about. It's set to release in select theaters in November 8th and 9th. And it's going to be uh, subtitled and dubbed. I for sure going into dub. I need to see uh, what my boy Davis is up to. Moving on, we have Rick and Morty Season 7 Episode 2. And I just put this in the docket to just uh, express myself. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but I do think uh, due to the co-creator Justin Rowley not being a part of the franchise, they are leaning more toward the introspective um, aspect of Rick and Morty when it comes to what makes these characters act in the way they do. The last episode was Jerry Trap or Jerick Trap, and the whole concept was Jerry and uh, Rick. They switched minds, and they was able to understand why they are the way they are in the character as well as how both characters can learn from each other but i don't know bro i was i'm here for the fart jokes i'm here for rick prime i'm not really here to understand the deep worries of rick and morty all right give me the action give me the fart jokes what the heck is we doing people get on it also, another thing I don't like about this new Rick and Morty, and call me crazy, I know they did it some time ago, this concept of they're uh, teasing something at the end of the previous season and never getting to it until the end of the next season. I don't like that. That's straight trash. All right. This is basically uh, egging to a degree. Like, if they... They got the game messed up if they think we're going to just keep watching this crap just to see the main story that we've been trying to get to the point of since season one. And they're talking about 100 episodes, season 20 and the junk like that. Bro, we don't got time for that. I think they're doing themselves a disservice. If it's going to be a uh, episodic uh, series, let's stop teasing the, the canon of it all, you know? Just have it. On some Looney Tunes stuff where each episode has its own heart and beat to it. This overarching thing, let's clear that junk up and be what you is at the end of the day. I don't like this back and forth, but that's me. Comment down below. Tell me if I'm tripping or not, but I don't think I'm tripping. Got a little sneak peek of what's happening in the future of Hollywood. There's a lot of films that's being pushed back. Now, if you don't know, the strike is still going on. Today, they renegotiate once again. Uh, last week or the week before that, they walked away. And when I say they walk away, I'm talking about SAG Afra. And now it's getting to the point that the bigger stars are hitting the picket line. We have my boy OB from Loki Season 2 hitting the uh, streets with his little sign. But these are all the movies that got pushed back. We have The Quiet Place. 
day one been pushed back. Captain America is set to uh, replace Deadpool's original uh, date. Deadpool 3 is being pushed back. Ghostbusters, Garfield, Doom 2 was already pushed back. King Kong and Godzilla is pushed back. Basically, everything that you thought was coming is being pushed back once again. I didn't even know they was making a Venom 3. That's going to be trash. But it's going to be pushed back as well. But yeah, hard to cope with it. Hopefully, but 2025 is a year of movies. Now, main story, Deadpool 3 director is being poached from uh, Marvel to join Star Wars. If you don't know Sean Levy, he and Ryan Reynolds basically created the world of Deadpool in the Fox franchise. It has been bought out by Disney. And apparently the Star Wars execs have been seeing what they have been doing on set in the storyline of Deadpool. And apparently they want that energy in Star Wars. The article from Variety speaks about Kathy Kennedy, who is basically the head honcho over there in Star Wars as of right now. Talking to the board to make a Star Wars movie. Her central mandate was, I want a Sean Levy movie. I want a story and tone reflect you and your taste and what you bring to your movies with a Star Wars story. Now, if you don't know, Sean Levy also has a hand to play in Stranger Things. He's basically one of the big head chonchos when it comes to these uh, epic storylines of this uh, decade. I don't see, I can't fathom a world where Star Wars has like strong comedic tones to the degree that we get from Deadpool or to the degree that we get from Stranger Things. Now, it's some horror elements that I would love to see in Star Wars. Like a horror Star Wars film does sound appealing. But this concept of looking at what the Marvel MCU is doing, seeing what works and trying to adapt that in Star Wars is totally... It's, it's going to be trash. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't think that's the um, proper way to go about it. I think uh, most likely what they should do is do some form of reboot. And I know they're doing it with Ahsoka where they're going in a new galaxy. And they kind of like can rewrite a couple things or play with the timeline a little bit where it's a reset of things. Um, Matthew Vaughn, the director of Kingsman, said something very uh, smart. He said... Maybe Star Wars just needs to reboot and have the story focus on the lineage, lineage of Skywalkers. Everybody know about Skywalkers, even co-hosts and co-hosts of the white uh, Star Wars films. Co-hosts, you know about Skywalkers? Name me a Skywalker. You know what I'm trying to tell you. That's why they need to focus on the Skywalkers and drop all this. And hey, you know who Grogu is? You know who Baby Yoda is? Exactly, y'all. Hey, just get straight to the point. Let's not uh, do this deep uh, anthology crap. I get it. You have uh, super super fans that really wants that main story to keep going. But if the business is bad, reset the business, you know? They be all right. It's not the end of the world. But that's pretty much the end of this episode. Thank you for joining the greatest YouTube channel under 1,000 subs. I am your host, Lo. This is Film Unity, and I see you in another video. No, what are you waiting for? Do, do it! it! Make your dreams Don't come true! Dreams Just do it!